Hello friends, welcome to the 49th episode of Joomla 2.5 custom component development series. In the previous episode we have learned how to create this toolbar and how to add different different toolbar icon. In this episode I will explain when uh, some user or administrator will click on a particular icon then we want to execute some of our PHP code. Okay, let's say so when somebody will click on the new we want to display the form when somebody will click on the delete we want to display the delete. So I will uh, explain the pseudo code and you will implement the real one. Okay, and if you have um, any problem so you have always one option you can comment below this video. Okay, so let's start. So uh, I will uh, start with the view one. So here you can see in the view this toolbar are present, but I have not mentioned any action. And uh, one thing uh, I would like to remind you that if you have not watched my future tutorial like this, especially the subcontroller uh, tutorial, okay, uh, please watch this tutorial because this will need, okay. So here you can see uh, this toolbar icon. So let's go to the back end. So this here with Joomla is installed. So if I go to the open chat, views, chats, this view, okay, in this like file. So like uh, here we have uh, uh, created our different different toolbar icon, but we have not mentioned our action. So how we will mention our action? So here we can pass like uh, uh, like a uh, subcontroller name. So let's say uh, when uh, somebody will click on the new, then we will call a different controller. Okay. So like uh, create chat. So we have uh, you can create subcontroller here. So I'm for this demonstration. I'm creating one subcontroller. Let's say blog subcontroller. Okay. So this one is blog dot php. Can be anything. Okay. So let's quickly copy and paste this code. So we have created this subcontroller. So let's verify this one is working or not. So test. How do you call? simply uh, we will mention here task equal to task equal to blog dot test so here you can see so if I change this one blog test controller blog test controller so let's go and refresh this page so here we can see blog test controller so our subcontroller is working so like uh, our goal is when somebody will click on the new so we will display that blog form okay when somebody will click edit then we will display this is an edit area okay so let's create a function in the controller so like create blog post okay welcome to create blog post here you can display form okay now here in the new I will mention here the subcontroller so blog dot this one so now save and refresh this page and check whether it is working or not so now if I inspect this element so here you can see uh, our subcontroller attached but if I click on the new I can see nothing is happening okay so we need some modification in our form so in the default.php here you can see in this form we have to tell Joomla which component and which task okay so like uh, mention in a hidden file input type hidden okay name equal to option and value equal to com underscore open chat this is our component right so let's save this and refresh this page once again okay I have some error forgot the semicolon save and refresh this page click on new again this is not working so what we have to mention the task so let's copy these things and paste so like here instead of option task we can leave this blank and check save and now click new so here you can see like this controller code is executing 
so the, here you can see welcome to the create blog post here you can display form okay so here you can display form like here you can uh, create a form tag basic display input field let's quickly do this so that you can easily understand form I'm like writing few example input type text not writing anything just for demo so title I will give a break okay here also one break here is text area yeah okay now let's save this like body save so now if I refresh this page so here we can see the form cool so now if I uh, go back to our page now if I clicking on the new we're displaying the new form okay now here also you can dis uh, display button like save okay so how you can display simply here like uh, you can assign toolbar so J toolbar toolbar helper so save save this and refresh this page so here you can see save and close is coming and also we can assign this one apply apply cancel and of course we can set the toolbar title so that you can understand title save like create blog post new blog post so let's save this and go to the back end and refresh so here you can see create new blog post and cancel okay now in this uh, like when I'm clicking on the new one I'm redirecting to this page and again we can assign some controller action here so let's uh, specify this action here like this controller so like uh, here so action name blog dot save post okay so let's create a controller like you can use this one blog post okay and form action index dot php form and here same thing we have to mention input type hidden name equal to option value equal to com underscore open chat and one more for task we will leave blank so let's start so let's refresh this page and let's add something and click save and close it's not working method post and name admin form save this and refresh this page so now if I click I'm redirecting to this you can see save blog post now if I here like go our data pre print underscore r dollar underscore post oh we have not given any name but here you can see the data is coming but if we give name for this title field 
and text area name this one is title and this one is body so let's save this and go back to our view refresh this page now click on new my post title post body now I'm clicking save and close so here you can see all the data is coming now you can do anything because I have in past tutorial I have explained how to use the database so you can easily save to your database okay so in this way like you can attach different subcontroller to different different element okay so like uh, when somebody will um, click on publish you will execute another subcontroller like block dot publish okay so let's uh, quickly do these things so block dot publish but later when I will explain the model and jtable then these things will be automated but for like core programming you should learn this one so you can easily understand the latter series so public function our function name and let's print this data okay so let's go to the view page and now um, if I click on the publish oh because we don't have enable the checkbox and it's okay let's go ahead blog dot publish yeah because um, we don't have like enable the check boxes so that's why the publish is not working because it's also submit the um, CID okay so in the future episode I will explain that how to use that one but for this one like you can attach any subcontroller like this add edit and of course in the delete section so thanks for watching um, this tutorial like how to add actions to your button using that subcontroller okay if you have any question or suggestion please write comment below this video and please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching